What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Niger Fam channel. We are here live and direct. Uh, this is just a portion of my brothers, right? So we want to talk to you guys and give you updates on what's going on in our lives. Go ahead. So what's your name? <laughs> you don't say your name? What's your name? <laughs> My name is Craig, you know what I'm saying? I know you guys know me, hi, hello, I'm live. My name is Toby. My name is Dio, aka DJ Rocket. Yeah. DJ Rocket is the chief of his village. Uh, Chinadu, you know, what's up, we're here, gang gang. He's stupid. Prince. What's up? You look bad. What's his name? I just know his real name. Prince. <laughs> That's what y'all gonna get. So the main reason why we started this video was just to basically show our lives and what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. In short, man, <coughs> we made this YouTube video so you guys can see us again. We're back and we're live. Oh, yeah. And it's me and my brothers and we're here to give you some content. Yeah. Come on, man. Like, yeah. comment, and subscribe, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, thing, the thing is, we realize like, our ordinary lives are just funny and we have a lot of substance to us. I'm not recording record and share. Document, the documentation is very important. So it's not for you, it's for us, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's for <laughs> you. In the meantime, we have an Instagram page of Niger Fam. Go Green. follow. I need yeah. you to go follow. Like, comment, and subscribe. subscribe. We're going to fill that subscribe, page subscribe. up, you know what I'm saying? One thing that's very important to us, as you see, like, we, this is a brotherhood, right? So we've known each other for some time. Um, so this is really just us, like, you know, showcasing how we relate with one another. You go see us, are you? Hey, don't move. Stop, go please. fuck your face. No, stop, hey, hey. Have discussions, but you know, it's all love. That being said, um, this is why we ask our people, our family online for questions, Q and A. Take it away. So our first question is, how did we meet? How did we meet? So everybody has different perspectives. It's, I'll go first, cause I was the youngest. So yeah. I got brought around, you know, through my brother, Alvin. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> we always used to do this little CC pizza thing. I was, a, I was a young guy, so I could never be brought around, you know what I'm saying? But finally, I got to go around one day. We all at CC's, and I was like, wow, these guys are some, some, some cool guys, you know what I'm saying? I was cool myself, so I wasn't really worried about it. Like, <laughs> Man, that was the coolest young nigga I knew. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Boy, I don't know, probably you don't For me, so I knew Toby from when we were much younger. Well, Nigeria, obviously. Our parents had different government associations here uh, reflecting on our Nigerian heritage. Toby was in the same one that my parents were in. Oh, to Toby, Toby's like brother is McNeese. It's so girl. So through Toby, I make McNeese and Charles. So Charles, it's a year plus out. And everybody from Rowlett, Dio, I met everybody. And at Beachy, I've known him since I was a kid. Our, our moms are close. My dad emceed his parents' wedding. So we've known each other for a long time on that side. Oh, uh, Chidadu, uh, we used to do swimming lessons. Our parents knew each other Chidadu, too. From time. We used exactly. to do swimming lessons. That was the first time we met each other. Well. And then Dio, we used to throw the most epic. Have you seen Project X? Oh my we God. We used to throw the most epic parties at Dio's right house. Here. Talk Whoa. police, Mind you, fights, a link right here. like everything. <laughs> so like he's a legend in his own right before this whole DJ shit. So that's how I met everybody. I mean, everybody that's here. Yeah. And there's, there's more like, of us. There's, there's, like, more of there's us. like 14 of us. All right, where do you see yourself in five years? Your mother. Sorry. <laughs> so, you see myself in the film and television space. I mean, I've always been in that industry. And uh, yeah. Uh, we're asking myself in five years, being an international DJ, tour DJ, you know, taking pumped. the DJ shit to the next level. Working work with different artists, full-time entrepreneur, so. I like that, I, I like that, I like that, I like that. I love you, man. I would say in five years, I see myself in a very comfortable position. Um, and when I mean comfortable, it's He has a place in New York City, he has two places in LA, he's looking at a place in London. Worth $16 million, but he barely lives there. That's where I want to be in five years. Where I want to be in five years, simple, right? Because we can say all these things. For me, I want to get paid to be myself. That's number yeah. one. Number two, I want to make sure um, I'm creating spaces and um, products for my community, people that look like me, and giving them platforms to shine. And then number three, I want to make sure uh, on the investment side that you know, I'm making a lot of wealth moves uh, generational, internationally here in Nigeria and everywhere in the world. So that sums it up. Um, five years, I'll be comfortable, very comfortable. I'm making sure. You'll be 26, right? No, I'm 25. 25. 25. How old are you now? 20. 
Wow. We'll be twenty. And we'll all be we'll all be multi millionaires. Can we do the math? Amen. 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 That's it. Next question. So, what do you look for in a woman? English, English. He's English. <laughs> <laughs> Every man like a whole but be fine, fine. Sleep on top. What I look for, <laughs> um, man, just God fearing, Free loving, teeth. loyal, um, somebody very smart and driven. You can name all these qualities, but at the end of the day, it just comes down to somebody that this do this thing called life with. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to just be wasting your time. Mm -hmm. Someone you can just like really just like actually talk to like throughout everything. I mean, I always say this: if the feeling is not mutual, why pursue it, right? Ew. Ew. Come on! If you just cut the fat and just the meat, right? Uh -huh. All I look side. for is compatibility. Oh, get you side. know, I, I think that word. Oh, you know, compatibility is a big thing. Oh you know? boy! Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if, you know, if, think about it. Me. Yes. 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 Man, that guy is looking for you. I just, uh, I just want balance in my relationship. Uh, <laughs> Oh, that's very valid. I was, that's exactly what I was about to say too. Yeah, balance. Oh, for real. Balance. Um, like Nara Molly once said, you want me to spend the money? You're doing it again on you. Oh, balance. you can you imagine? Up top. I don't want to be the one that's spending all the money. Like if if you can't buy it yourself, I'm not buying it for you. I deserve it. Yeah. Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you want me to spend yeah. the money? I don't. I, I, I don't look for much. But you know what I'm saying, like. But they gonna flame this nigga die. I'm, I'm, so, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right so. now, they're gonna flame this nigga. <laughs> well, I, I hope you're ready for that. I'm gonna be in the comment section harder than a bitch. I'm gonna be in that hoe. We do keep quiet. Uh, for me, what I look for in a girl, I mean, I love laughing. If you know me, you know I just love to laugh. So enjoyment. Enjoyment. That's <laughs> enjoyment. You no. Know, look, a sense of humor. Uh, athletic, yeah, I like to work out. Check my blood. We can't even get to that right now. Uh, let me tell you something right now. He mapping out his woman right now. So if you are in any of those, lady, give my man up, man. Cause he's single and he's ready to what? Pretty yeah. lady. Oh. We do keep quiet. Look, food, cause look. I eat, that's why I gotta work out a lot, cause you can't be getting fat. Okay. I love to eat, uh, but cook too. Look, I, time look, I, look, look, I will map out this whole thing, cause look, I, if you're fine, you're fine. I don't discriminate. Yeah. Just look, there's no point, like. Quality. But I do love the brown skin and braids. I am brown skin. Brown skin. Okay. Yeah. That's, 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 that's. What I look for in a woman is uh, like what we said, God fearing. Somebody that can like keep me accountable as well as me keeping her accountable for like everything that you know needs to be done. Your work, career, whatever it is. Like having that form of accountability with one another. And then also somebody that just respects my livelihood in terms of what I want to do in life, like my lifestyle. Like I have a lot of aspirations to where I'm going to be, I want to say traveling a lot and exploring the world, but not necessarily saying like they won't be a part of it. But like, I do a lot of adventures with my friends and like we just try to tap into like different places. Yeah. Those are some of the qualities, finer qualities that I find in women. All right. Wait, 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 I'm sorry, I got one more whenever he said that. I am very adventurous. I just realized that fully, just yeah. coming from Colorado. Yeah. I like doing shit, so <laughs> just get ready to travel this, this travel. Yeah, like, yeah, man, don't, yeah, be, I don't said, be, I don't same, like, same, I don't same, like same, boring. Same, same. Got no big cash up. The next question is, how tall are you guys? I'm 6'3". I'll just put it out there. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I'm 6'2". What? <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Okay, just okay, quick, okay, quick, okay. quick, 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 <laughs> quick, 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 quick. Look, I'm not mad at my height. I'm five ten. You know what I'm saying? I can still put a finer thing in. Come on, man. Hey, yeah. it ain't yeah. even what's about what's the what's height. What's it's what's about what's what's what you got coming at your mouth. I'm six two. Five ten. I'm Toby the five nine. Oh my God, boys. Boys. Uh, I'm five nine. Six, I know Fiona is bro. Six three. Yes, so the next question is, oh. Where y'all from? Nigeria, uh, you do what you both call Delta State. Come on! If you want to talk, you want to talk about America, I'm from Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Nigeria, Anambra State. Um, I go to Zebo, my mom's side. I go to my dad's side. Yeah. If it's from the U.S., I'm from Texas. Dallas, Texas, Triple D. You feel me? So. I was born and raised in Dallas, Texas, USA. Nigeria, 
Anna Bar State, Obosi Town. From my dad's side is Ire Village. Okay. My mom's side is Ugama. <laughs> Austin <laughs> um, awesome. the Great, Triple D, Dallas, Texas. That was supposed to be everything. Oh, Ebo as well. Yeah. Ebo boy. 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 I'm Yoruba. boy. I'm Yoruba. I'm the only Yoruba person in the group, by the way. <laughs> only person. Lose okay, so yeah, my, dad is, me. my dad is from Ijebu land. Mm -hmm. Ijebu is so sad. Oh, what? And my mom is from Ijesha land. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Bro, I love the way y'all speak, bro. It sounds like y'all be throwing up. Yes, oh, yeah. I love my Yoruba people. Yes, I love Imo State. Umo Logo. Umo Logo. Umo Logo. Umo Logo. For me, uh, you know, I'm from New Jersey. Uh, born and raised. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I, I moved to Texas in the eighth grade. But I did a lot of running around. Boy. Nigeria, man, oh boy. Listen, my father is from Isu. My mom is from Anambra State. Oh, Anambra yeah. State. Uh -huh. But my mom is from Ogidi. Ogidi. Man, I love that place. Every time I go back, man, I love going to the village. Like, although people hate going to the village because, like, Nepal takes light at random it's, times. It's fine. Like, like you want to go to Nigeria and actually feel Nigeria, you got to go to the village. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What makes a solid relationship to us? Communication. To you. Communication. 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 Can you hear me? Can you hear me? You people listen to talk. You don't listen to listen. Oh, That's your problem. See. Ask your mom what I said if you did not hear. <laughs> For me, it's really just um, being able to vibe with the person. Vibe. Saying. All vibes. I don't know what it means. Vibe until you break up. Yeah. Vibing. Vibing for five yeah, years. You're still not married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Vibing, you have kids, he's still not married. I'm gonna let my man finish. My bad. Uh, Sorry. yeah, we just vibing, man. Like, it's not much. Like, vibing. He's not much at all. He's not lying. This is a bond that can't be breaking. Like. Speak, spoke, spark. Oh, Seattle. Broken. He's running from me. I fucked it up. Don't go down. A bond that can't be broken. Thunder will not get directed. <laughs> Thunder will strike you dead. Thunder. You know Thunder? Fire oh, is God is my witness. <laughs> Me personally, uh, relationship, whether it's friendship, you're dating, you know what I'm saying, your girl, your little boot thing, whatever. I think it's a very important that you have a line of trust and communication, like you said. Um, mm -hmm. That's incredibly. Actually, I think that's the foundation of all relationships. Like, so it starts from Thank conversation, God. you know what I'm saying? So you right. make sure you trust each other Jehovah. and you build up. For me, I would say um, understanding, and this is in all realms of all relationships, uh, understanding intention. Next question, next question. What's one thing you desire from 2020? Oh, mm. oh Wisdom. Mm. Okay. Mm. And um, experience, man. I think that's the two most important things you can really that's the foundation of trying to get to where you want to get, you know what I'm saying? So I, I feel like what I want out of this year is a lot of a lot of learning, a lot of um, growth. taking out, yeah, growth, as you can say. Um, just trying to build something bigger than myself, basically. Yeah, I would say the one thing that I'm desiring is just to bootstrap enough savings possible to put into my startup. I mean, I have big ambitions to build a business in the mass media space for me for everyone 2020 success and my yeah. desire from uh, 2020 is uh growth and like continuous learning um learning about myself learning about others uh, learning about my environment and just you know putting that towards what is the next steps in my life on ultimate groups and for me expanding my dj business like, come on come on um it was, it was, i gotta uh, I Will got, you come on, I tell them. Some, I, got some, <laughs> I got some major plans I got for 2020 with this DJ stuff that, mm -hmm. you know, that, that would take um, an upcoming genre to another level. Come on. I like that, because it's too So much. really just investing into my, my DJ career, like. I like that. Mr. EJ Boo has spoken. If you can watch him decide to cut you up, when you watch him talk, you see the dreaminess in his eye. <laughs> I feel like everybody in this room really appreciates about you in terms of the DJ things is like you listen yeah. and you're like consistent. Like, okay, if I tell Dow, boom, Dow, Dow, yeah, yeah. Like, you need to you need to find a way to trash turn yeah. this and do this. 
Yo, that time cinema is real. Oh, yo, come and do that. So, like, being a student <laughs> of the game, right? even though you're, you're it, know, that's his craft, but yeah, he's still listening he's to other people. He's perfecting and listening to other people. He used to suck. Man, that not, is not only did he suck, but we told him now he's the hottest DJ in the city. What's your, uh, what's your desires? My desires for 2020? Yeah. I mean, simple, man. I, number one is personal development. But this year, intentional with it, like, for real, like, when it comes to, I don't want to just say, oh, yeah, I'm trying to grow, I'm trying to get better, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would actually want to put markers to it and go to people for help, and that's number one. And then one thing, I, um, I have a job and everything, and I'm cool, I have all these things going on, it's cool, but, like, one thing that's extremely important to me is, like, my personal projects, and, like, I'm going to, we're going to break my foot off from that thing, just start next year, started next year, I just, that's where... That's where the real wealth come from. It's like, I feel stupid putting in how many hours for somebody else's dream and then my own. And you have so many. Yeah. No. You have a lot, Roman. Exactly, 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 exactly. 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 All right, so next question. What are your pet peeves? Man, don't lie, bro. Don't lie and don't chew with your mouth open. Simple as that. <laughs> if you want to make my life hard, yeah. lie and chew with your mouth open. You'll receive every slap. Every duty slap. Yeah. You want to see? Mm -hmm. to see? Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. For me, bro, just, just, I hate never negative energy, bro. Like, it be draining my energy. I'm positive, like, 95% of the time. So, bro, don't. You have those 5%, bro. Yeah, I have those 5%, but don't, like, <laughs> don't bring that negative energy around. Bro. Like, you got a cloud over your head. Like, you bring the cloud to me. Are you mad? And then number two is, like, brush your teeth, bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, stink it, stink it. <laughs> <laughs> stinking breath. Kaya, my, stinking breath. Serious. Like, like me, I, if I, let me just, I'm just a little quick. Well, too, if I know my breath is hot, gum will be infiltrating my taste buds. Man, you say gum, and I'm then, gonna go brush my mouth. No, I'll, no, if I'm out already, and then my, I'll be talking humbly. <laughs> I'll, 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 yeah, my man, I'll say, no, you know how people aren't talking humble when their breath is hot. So your breath is hot, and now you want, your lips are open another degree. <laughs> That's disrespectful. Yeah, that I keep, 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 keep. Uh, like so I keep, keep, keep. And I might cheat. You know, one day she noticed. She said, <laughs> she's, my sister, she said, Obi, Obi, your breath is hot. It is. So she brought me a tongue scrubber Man. from Walmart. Two, That's love. Two dollars. So and like, you know, no, one no, day I, test, I tested the technology and it works. Mike so, is very hygienic. No, you guys get tongue scrubbers See, and Mike, get I got your back. toothbrush every month. Updates it, please. Lying is there off top. You tell me you're gonna do something, don't do it. I don't like this. Like, don't, don't play with me. And yeah. don't threaten me, because I promise you, I'll slap the shit out of you. Hey, <laughs> I, I, just, I, I literally had like a know. flashback, because like something just happened. Oh, hey, don't shit threaten me. Like, no, that's the word. Like, see your fist. <laughs> I'm really, I'm calm every, all the time. I'm chill. Yeah. Don't threaten me. Yeah. And me is really like, don't bring any drinks thanks to my DJ equipment. <laughs> 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 my pet peeve is hotheads. You know, they don't know how to process issues. Every day they want to fight. Every day they want to shoot guns <laughs> over common arguments. Point the finger. And it's just like, Point the they, don't have, they don't have the process issues. I ain't gonna I lie, said, another pet peeve of mine is Toby, bro. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. This guy is pissing me off. Oh, Hey, hey, talk to me. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. 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 Let me rephrase the question. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. I'm right here. No, no, she'll give you the phone. Don't ask that stupid question. Toby's like, what's good? There's nothing good. There's nothing good for you. Bro, Nicole. Bro, honestly, y'all talk too much. Listen, guys. Oh, Toby's like that pinch on your skin. Oh, God. It's like a pinch on your skin. Toby's like that one little guy that you have. That you just want to like just slap. No, you have games not on your even phone. slap. You want to headbutt. Like you have you ever <laughs> to headbutt somebody, bro? Like Listen. your body's just gyrating, shaking because yeah, yeah, you're yeah, mad, yeah, bro. Yeah, just yeah, 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 yeah. So back to my question. Then. The lesson. That, what? What? Here's my advice for you. If you're a hunter, <laughs> here's my question. Oh shit! <laughs> you see so, what I'm talking about? Oh, my God. Give me a question. Yo, yo, bad guy, right? Here's my answer. You know, if 
if you're very swollen in the head, you're very <laughs> hot-headed, try, you know, if you're not try very ice. good at processing issues, right away, try, you know, small, small in 2020 to increase your processor, reboot your hard drive, and invest in personal development. We do keep quiet. Because, um, yeah, man, just not being a hothead, man. Like, fire doesn't need to happen. Gone. Doesn't need to happen. <laughs> Nobody needs to go to jail. <laughs> what? Raise your what? Processor. Raise your processor. Notice how Apple is updating there every year. Next question, next question. What is, uh, who is your favorite Nigerian artist Ooh. as of today? I ain't gonna lie, uh, Rima probably right now. Oh, Burna Boy, Rima Slata. Favorite yeah. artist, what's your favorite artist? <laughs> so one. Damn. Favorite. Burna Boy, Burna Boy. Yeah. Burna Boy, easily, Burna Boy. Burna Boy. Burna Boy. Burna. Burna. That burning hot fire. Man, my favorite artist is Odunsi. Come on. Hey. Like the star signs. Hey, Odunsi, Odunsi is fire, though. I ain't gonna lie. He, he, like a, he like a Nigerian Frank Ocean. <laughs> yeah, Nigerian Frank Ocean. He is. Yeah. No, okay, he buy that one. Mine is. Bro, I've been rocking with Nara Marley. He actually really good. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. He like, got, 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 got some hits. He got some hits. Shout out to Shout out to Marley. Rima and Zlatan. Honorable mention, please. All right, guys, so this is going to be the last question. All right, so the question is, what's the best advice someone has given you? My mom actually told me this. And this is coming from someone that, from growing up, they're telling me they wanted me to do nursing, anything in the medical field. Mm -hmm. I changed my major, well, let me say, two semesters ago, and finally did something that I wanted. And I never, like, really told them. I finally told them. And like at first they're like, why did it up? Like they stood behind me. Mm -hmm. She like do what you want to do and be successful, and like we're always we're stand behind you regardless. Right. And I love that. I like that. I love you, guys. You're gonna be a good dad, bro. You're gonna be a real talk. Dad, bro. I'm gonna send my kids to your house. And they, this, they'll play. They'll be correct. <laughs> I think the best advice someone has ever given me came from my father, and um, he was basically just telling me that um, the only person that can stop you. And this line of life is yourself. Like, nobody else, no matter what someone puts in front of you, no matter what trials, tribulations, anything you're going through, the only person that can really stop what you want out of this life is yourself. And I'm now starting to see that and apply that. So, you know, just like I said, just starting to reboot things, reboot my hard drive, get get new things going, try not to let oh, things ho hold me down, you know what I'm saying? This advice was, it's too much money in this world not to make six figures from being an entrepreneur. And uh, I think Obi, you told me that? Seven. Seven so figures. Seven, six yeah. is small. Yeah. That's really the best advice I've ever heard, man. Like, in my in our circle. Cause, right. Cause graduating college, I was stuck between like, do I want to go and work a nine to five or do I want to just take the DJ shit on and take off? He told me that shit and then it just opened my eyes. So, and then you did what? Last time. DJ Rocket, take off. Now what he did was bust the roof down. A city go against me. Every time I'm in the street, I hear yak, 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 yak. One of the heard recently was um, this guy. I was at this uh, cultural um, entrepreneurship uh, panel, and this guy said, "Becoming a subject matter expert, and then understanding what you do, and then excelling in it, and that just means." Whatever realm that you're going into, whether it's creativity, whether it's business, whether it's being a lawyer, whatever the case is, right? Becoming a subject matter, matter expert, doing the, the detailed research that you need to do, doing all the, you know, everything that you need to do to become that expert and like actually excelling in it. Um, so that's one of the things that like, you know, stuck out to me. And that was recently, it was a guy named Alex, I forgot his last name. Um, for me, simple, uh, I was in church, put shortly, submit to God and everything you want in this world is yours. So it's like when we make plans and God laughs, so he's just laughing at you. Yeah, he's like, chilling. Chill. He's chilling. Like, you know. when, when are you going to pull up? Exactly. Yeah. Like, you know, I already know the answers to this. So. Exactly. This is, this is just right, six yeah. out of 14. So like, it's a lot more of us. We're going to mix it up a lot. So stay tuned, okay? The most important thing for y'all to do right now in this moment. Like. like Comments and subscribe.
kill everybody. And in the more bashan in Bagao. Okay, no, 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 okay. Right. Yo, like, real talk, real talk, like, stop doing all that. Like, they're just making more commotion. It's too much. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Three. Five, six, seven, eight. Are we dancing? <laughs> I'm sorry. Three, two, one. You know, key things. Everybody has their individualities. Um, where about we all together? Damn, this is when y'all niggas chip in, bro. <laughs> Oh, halls. halls. I didn't know what he like, said. You know the hall is like the dressing hall. Yes. Get out of I don't know if we're going to do dressing hall. Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna be like, we've known each other for a very long time. It is all love. Because even this one, the dust walked out the other time. Don't, <laughs> yeah. you know, don't worry. You will find out later. In the next video, he'll be smiling. Shining to you. Like, you know, this boy. We be talking about meatballs. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Good job, Toby. Good job. You're doing good. You're doing good. You have to. Hey, Sadi, man, let me. We did buy you a This for tickets. No, matches. Tickets. Why did you write, wait, why did the room get quiet? Because it's. Cause why'd you say it like that? Let me rephrase the question. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. Wait, see, this, don't cut me off. This is what you're not going to do. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. We just said that. See, see the deal? Okay. Okay.